Let's see who gets it going in this it's point war between these two. Round yeah, one. so I think Ready? definitely SJ0, you're gonna wanna play like a pseudo zoning game, right? Really mix things up with your clone, make it difficult for Clark to move on in. But Clark's now you're trying to use that 2D to get a lot of wind punishes. For sure, and you're absolutely right. Speaking of wind punishes, there's a step throw. I was gonna just mention Omarik, known for his aggressive style, so you might not see too much of the zoning aspect. You might just see the pressure here from these clones. Ooh, we got that trash head playing in the background. I see no confirm. Look at the reaction. That yeah, that was pretty scary there with that JA, one of the strongest air normals in the entire game. For air to air conversions and for coming down on the opponent. That was also a crazy hit there, too. No confirm. Yeah, it's like the second 2C this game that we didn't hit. It's the first game, I totally get it, but you gotta have those with one inches and combos ready. Here's that big sweep we talked about right back at you, says Shizuru. Oh, another one. Yeah, we're not converting. Yeah, and that's really the only thing here, uh, keeping Marocho uh, down at the moment, right? Not even down. Able to still win the first round, but it could have been a lot cleaner, and Clark could have come out of that with much more health. We were just able to convert some of those straight hits. Yeah, that's 2C. I mean, you got so much time to hit confirm it. You get EX turn punch. There's definitely a lot of things you can do. Got to close it out when you can. But speaking of closing out, Yari. Okay, you got to do something. This is going to hurt. Going well, for EX. Yes, you are. Man, he's getting rolling, death cradled all the way to the other side of the screen. I like the in and out too that we're seeing from Hirocho. Oh, a little bit of in and out there too from Merrick. Does get swept again, leading on that 2D as the footsie tool. Yeah, you see Merrick trying to slow things down. What? He got over the EX fire? That is not easy to do. Well, I don't even think the JA into the, into the rapid punch is actually connected. <laughs> nah, he's like, I'm letting it rock regardless. Kick her from a not in years in 2A. Finally, subduing the Clark, but losing a lot of health in return. Yeah, so really good start there for Hirocho. Now bringing in a Ralph after your own heart, Ralph. Oh, that's my boy right here, man. Put the hurt on him. We'll see. Can't be biased here. Ooh! Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You gotta convert them. You're not doing that. Then. Why are you playing Ralph, my guy? Huh? The money button. Oh, yeah. We got a lot of cash to spend, but this is the confirm that is tragic. And just like that, Merrick taking the lead here. Messes up the cross of attempt. Yep, dodging the mix, the expire. I think he could have got a regular one. But the hesitation on the dive punch. Gonna blow up the anti air attempt from Merrick. Nicely done from El Haracho. Yeah, should get a nice amount of health back as well. 41 seconds on the clock. Not quite back into the green, but still plenty of health and plenty of mirror to put Isla down. Definitely no. Ralph is always in two-touch territory, man. That's, that character is hard. Just about getting that hit. Easier said than done on this character, though. That's one of the best confirms in the world. Okay, just the dive kick. Oh, that's Sand PD. Big right hand, go for more of those two Cs. But again, the biggest downside here that we've seen from Hiroshi has just been unable to convert off of those two Cs. So much damage being left on the table. Or off the table. Definitely, you gotta put it on the table, right? That's what you need to say. Oh, there it is. He got it again, another far out back throw. He does have to go for that. I mean, listen, he got the dub, but just think, you could have gotten a dub a little faster. Like, gotta tighten up those 2C confirms. Especially a character like Ralph, uh, and even Clark, right? Who's gonna rely on that button to do a lot of the heavy lifting because of the vertical space that it covers. But uh, either way, going to game two. Absolutely. Good performance there. Really good use of just spacing with the buttons, right? That's one of the big things that for Hirocho was doing a really good job playing that footsies game. And that's really how we added up so much damage over time. Few drops there, though, after we got the quick match. So, like you mentioned, cleaning it up, tidying up the play, and Horocho could definitely take this more convincingly. For sure, but we could also see a clap back here from Merrick Maki. He's definitely well known to adapt in a lot of situations. And uh, we'll see what he does. Maybe an order switch. Oh, we're putting on Hydern on the team. And actually, a really good character, I think, in some of these matchups here, just to keep those characters at bay. Go for the anchor position. Why not? Ready for a battle of Get the anchor is here. scary, bro. Bro, I mean that whole team right there. That's a that's a devious team. Uh, with the exception of like Isla, I mean obviously no everybody knows Isla is like top one, maybe top mm. two, depending on who you ask. But I think Shizuru and Hyder are literally just Round right one. underneath that position, uh, and they can definitely back up the team really well. We're gonna see if they can back Clark up here. Oh, 
Oh, he'll give a little scrambly. That's not how you want to start things off with Clark. Oh. A jump base so active. Like you mentioned, one of the better Clark normals. And that close D might as well be unblockable. Nobody ever blocked that. I have seen it. <laughs> ooh, ooh, yeah, trying to swing back at the clone. Swinging at Ghost. Oh, get gripped up, though. Yeah, right to the elbow drop for the Oki with the JA. Tried to armor through with the command grab. Liked the idea, but it was multiple hits to actually get above the command grab as well. Yeah, you don't see that often. She's through. Her TP is something special. A lot of others would have would have lost in that situation, even with all the hits they do. So. Nicely done for Merrick, and like the spacing here, just trying to keep Clark out. Of course, the minute he goes in, Jobber, of course. Yeah, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. You, Clark is just waiting for you to get in command grab range. That's exactly what we saw there from Harocho. Like being just a little too aggressive, right? You had the life lead, could have sat back and just thrown out the clones, and now gonna pay for it. Clark trying to do some extra damage here. I love this the run in. Oh, he's converting the two Ts now to Jobber. This might get ugly. He's learning as he fights. He's warming up. Oh, this is uh, Chad GPT out here, baby. AI, you know? Yeah. Develop it before I'm very eyes. Oh, one of these resets. Killing the fear of God as a merit. It's yeah. Sirloin coming in with the $10 into the match. Reno, thank you. Oh, so Sirloin. Merrick cleans it up again, but just like last time, looking very dicey there. Wow, El Haroto, though, literally upgrading her. He's starting to wake up. He's sitting forward in his chair. You know what I'm saying? He's ready to go. Look, bro, if he starts converting off the two Cs from Ralph, it's over. Yeah, he's definitely game over. Oh! Oh, not quite! Nice. Very fortunate for uh, Isla right there. Her, her box is so low to the ground. Oh, her old jump in the with, ooh, and the fake taco, I see you, Mary. Oh, trying to go for a run there, this time not going to drop the confirm. We spend all the cash once the smoke, once he's off the table. Through the fire and flames, my man Ralph Jones walks through. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love that pose. My dude, bro. I like Ralph in any wrestling promotion right now, bro. Put him in WWE, put him in AEW, he's cooking everything. Bro, put him against Big Boom AJ. <laughs> See who brings Ooh. the boom. Who brings the real boom? Ooh. Oh, big trade. Wow, he got sent flying back in that one. He rocked him. He's going up against Boss Man right now. Got purple. My man's got the whole purple suit on. Oh, yeah, smart stuff. Using a heavy version of that dive bomb. So far, a little more. And everyone gets grabbed. And that's gonna be it. Just like that. Kyber in here, staying alive. Down to the anchor war. Set point for El Harocho. But coming in up against Rio. Some heavy hitters on this team, man. Oh yeah. Both teams are stacked to the gills. And double block on the overhead too. I like that. Oh, so definitely not slacking here. The thing I like about Hirocho's team is it's nothing fancy. It's just raw damage. Like, you you get hit, you make a mistake, you get whiff punish, you dodge. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Speaking of whiff punish right there, we saw that the EX, uh, the regular heavy top, it didn't work. And this will be game over. The SDM, Lugo Rob will close his belt. El Hirocho going to take that over Merrick Max. Ooh. What a yeah. great way to start things off. Yeah, I love that team comp right there. Just Clark, Ralph, and closing it out with the dragon himself, Rio. That is a very, uh, other than Clark, really, that is a very meter hungry team that does a lot of damage. Characters, because once that balance patch happens, you don't know if your character is getting shot or if they're getting caught. You don't know who's going to get better. So definitely a good time to mess around with some of the familiarities. Yeah, this is a Ramon versus Whip matchup, though. Um, I just assume it's probably really horrible for Ramon. <laughs> it, it's, I think if Ramon gets in, if he gets the knockdown, it can get dangerous for, for, uh, for Whip. But Whip should have an easy time getting them out. Yeah, yeah especially with how airborne Whip can be. Those really strong air normals. But there's the knockdown. Not to get the party started. Oh, that 5C. Ramon, his normals are kind of sneaky. You don't think they're that good? The 2C and the 5C as well as the uh, San A. 
dangerous stuff. Oh, tries to go for the Tiger Rose. Look at that range. And he's going to get enough for the bar. Yep. Oh, it's the DDT. Boom. The stop. A little bit of a coup de gras there. Basically, yeah, Warrior away if you're a low-key fan. Round <laughs> two. Ready? Now coming up against Clark here. We're going to have a pure wrestling match. Nice jumping out of the Argentinian backbreaker startup. Yeah, had to blow back. Really, do you see Clark? Just trying to create space, but can't even do it against this Ramon. Gripped up again. One more mix you got to deal with. Oh, we tried to go for the cross up. <laughs> There we go. DT elbow drop. Ooh, going to the other side for a backbreaker. Looking a little bit like Brock Lesnar versus Eddie Guerrero. Very surprised that Clark didn't go for the anywhere juggle with the grab. Okay. Ah, uh, that was supposed to be a uh, step kick. He's going to die. Yeah, so the unfortunate part is uh, sometimes you get that. When I would play Clark, you do 2D and you try to dash step. But the way the inputs work, you end up getting half serve to um, kick a set. So yeah, go for the there. really common misinput then in KOF for sure. Trying to go for the advancing strike. Mr. Ramon still living the check on the EX cross slash. Bro, I can't believe Ramon has been alive this long. Taking that two characters. Okay. Dodging the overhead, putting them down. But here comes Naj. I don't think I've ever seen Reno play this character, so this should be a good one. It's all a glimpse into the past. If you were a KWF 14 player, these two ran and up in 3.0, the meta there. So it's like old friends meeting up at a high school. Game. Hey, and in the last balance patch as well, Naj did get some uh, nice quality of life changes, right? Definitely making her damage a little bit easier to access and more consistent. But right now, Reno not getting any access to that damage at all. The Kari Warrior going to town here with Hyder. Yeah, he might not even get a chance to play, actually. Wow, no moves last year on that jump. We X up, though. We got two stock drive kicks. What's going on? Uh -oh. oh, okay. We got all of them now. All three. Dangerous. The high turn. Is he dead? Oh, he might be dead. Oh, with the level three? I might even need to spend it. He's absolutely dead. Yep. I just wanted to make sure that 100%. Dead. That drop the kick, getting those stocks, Smiles and you see how much damage winner. it just puts out. The level three drop kick also just blows through everything too. It's a great tool to deal with fireballs, uh, to deal with misplaced normals, and uh, that's why it become became a scary matchup for Hyder in there. Yeah, one hundred percent. You know, you want to talk about drop kicks as well. The EX drop kick on the Ramon is also a really good neutral tool, just kind of a jump scare tool to hit your opponent so with. We didn't see a lot of that from Reno, but it might change coming Ready? into this next game. We'll have to see. Sure. Sorry, Warrior. I have to look for more uppercuts too with Whip to kind of control the sky. Oh, it's so hard to see where that jump C is coming from. Ramon is a tricky character. Look at that. Big whip punish with the jump in. And I like the fact that Reno is not spending any meter. He's using Ramon as a pure battery. And building it. Yep, goes right back to it. Nice uppercut on the way down. Oh, yep, and then the 2C whip punish. Whip is out of here. Reno's about to get a ton of health back as well. I mean, he's damn near perfect at this point. Good job. We haven't even seen Ramon's, like, reversal, right? He's got that EX, like, stop cancel that actually works as a DP. We might see it here. Nope. Wake up roll instead. Now just playing this footsies game. He's now confirms and resets when we can, building up that meter over time. Nice jump check there with the JA, but unfortunately not going to lead to anything substantial for Atari Warrior. Oh, oh if he knew that, he would definitely continue that one there. That's what we need. Toss him to the corner. Clark still has a lot of work to do. Doesn't have any resources. A few throws to turn it over. Clark what? Oh. Oh, does have a okay. He was almost dead there, but... Oh! Try to run. This pressure on the corner, trying to armor through. Doesn't get whiff. Punish him one more touch. Nice, gets into the air. Anywhere 
one shot with the EX tackle. Player two wastes no Damn, time evening the score. Damn, saved by the EX tackle. That was a little worrisome. I thought he was going to go for the air throw instead. But when I saw it was like he was right under him, I was like, yeah, J.A. was the best idea. Awesome. Oh, yeah. There, completely committed there to the turn punches. Gonna end up losing Clark, and now it's down to the wise man here, Hyder. Ready? Go! Wise man, I didn't even think of that one. That's a good one. That's a bloodline, bro. The Akara Warriors. <laughs> it might as well be. Oh no! Okay, they're honorary Samoans. Oh, save the front. Oh wow, getting stumped out of the super startup. This is gonna hurt. Go for a stun combo here, I wonder. Yes, still have one stock left too. Spends it for the drop kick. Not quite able to get it stunned. Just a lockdown in the corner. Blocks the overhead. I mean, Reno do does play Hyder in his well, so he's gonna know how to deal with this matchup. Oh, oh, and the level two anti air. You are correct, Rome. Reno moves on 2 0. The goddess of nice. victory. I like the Naj, man. And of course, the Ramon, too, is looking even more dangerous by the minute. But I like to see the Naj here. This character uh, is good when she gets going. She just has a lot of moving cogs. A lot of that sounds crazy. Confidential. I guess I guess I'm doing it right now while I'm far forget. But here we go. We're into the matchup here. You and whip. Taking a lot of whip today. Yeah, a lot of whip here, but, but, but Yamazaki good to see as well. Cyber coming through. Mr. Guerrero. I like that. Ah, oh, CD. Oh, too high. Yes, I like that he threw her on the way down. Recognize how high she was in the air, but throw it back at you. The cross up JA. Nice work. What I like about this match is Yamazaki, he doesn't have to push too far into Whip's range or to actually be effective. Fortunately, not as effective as he could have been here. Peggy Mexicana is going to get rid of him. And Shermie. Yeah, she's throwing out that far scene. I mean, it's double hitting, it's special cancelable. Great tool. Shermie wants to get in, start those throws. Oh, there's a Stallarine twirl right over. And that drop kick with the JCD. Oh, I like the fake out there, right? Going into the stance and then trying to get a throw. Really sneaky. One more touch away. There it is. Ballerina twirl right to the other side again. Call the homies on the phone. Let them know. We're back in there. Shirby Mira. Let's get it. Looking like 1.0 a little bit. And both got so much bar right now. Oh, too early for the command grab. This is going to hurt. And he's going to almost spin one bar. Another empty jump to the command grab. And this is going to toss her back into the corner, too. We're not going anywhere. Oh, no. Never mind. Level one. Level two would have tossed her back. And four bars here on this Shirby. But not going to get a chance to spend it. Only their anchor remains. It's all up to Iori, but Iori coming in with five bars is honestly a little scary. <laughs> a little dangerous indeed. Ready? <laughs> Let's see what we do. Five bars. All right, you see for the anti-air. Nice, using the stand CD as an anti-air. Preemptively, I think if we went for three twirl, we could have got the combo. But speaking of combos, it's firework, baby. Let's go. Oh, yeah, finish it out here. No, doesn't go for the kill, but catches the forward roll. Ends up working up perfectly there for Cyber going into this anchor war with three bars remaining and getting a lot of health in the process as well. I love the ending of that. It's just perfectly playing into your opponent's hand. Fighting games 101. I want you to do this, so you do it for me, and I'm happy to oblige. And just what looked like to be a very dangerous position for Cyber MX to be in, now in the lead, in the driver's seat. Yeah, Scum Gale, but does get stuff on the 2B. Oh, okay. Seal him up, and we're gonna get the level three as well. I feel like he's alive, but yeah. he's gonna be sealed up for the duration. 
of this fight hit. She has an extra EX bar too, yeah. It's easier said than done to make a comeback what like that. Of course, being sealed up by Shiru, while you do lose access to your special moves and supers, you still have access to the uh, system mechanics. So you think guard camps will roll to create space, but even then, it's right. You, you don't have much health. It's it's inevitable at this point. Yeah, I mean, it, it was so difficult to make that comeback there, but it just shows you how quickly the tables can turn with access to meter, right? Mm-hmm. And Devon did indeed get the tables there. <laughs> Round one. Testify. Straight into the next round. Yamazaki starting off much stronger here. That's what you want to do. You want to utilize Snake Arm a little bit more against Whip, right? It's just such a good tool in general for Yamazaki. Might be a little bit committal, but Whip is, uh, you know, you got to be a little bit more committal against her. Oh, but we're getting red right now with his anti here. Oh! Making off the throw. Jump back, eh? Try the preemptive shatter strike. And while that's not a bad idea against Whip, to her hit trajectory, it can still be a bit of a problem if you hit it too early. Going for a fast punish there. Just immediate DP. The guard cancel. Right. Harassment. Rolling on in to try and close the gap. Oh, yeah. One for the uppercut. Great patience there from Cyber and Max. Now or never. Ready? Alright, Shirmy coming back in. Immediately trying to go for a command grab around start is ballsy from Peggy Mexicana. Ooh, gonna be it. Both point characters are knocked out. It's not that bad, Yamazaki. Now or never. Ready? Go! Oh no, Yamazaki, he's a, he's a different guy. You never know. Good. There we go, bro. Double the Sturm. Pecky has all the bar yet again. Land some massive damage like last time. Ooh, right out of range. Yeah, that the slower speed. Definitely not gonna hit from that angle. Counter hit. Yeah, into the level two. Wanted to hold on to that extra bar there. Ooh, no punish. Surprise. Yeah. This is surprising. Get to yeah. C. Just trying to find one way to escape the thread the needle here. Two C's are working. Oh no! Tried to go for MP jump and command grab, but it didn't happen. Instead got grabbed themselves. Okay! No, we dropped the combo. Yeah, that's it two times in a row. Cybermex had to confirm there. Missing the two way. Two way, I believe, is special cancelable while our two B isn't. So. Yeah, gotta, gotta be exact on that one there. But still, it's not over yet. Final chance for Yori. At least to bring this to a 1 1 if possible. Yeah, I mean, Yori last time was sitting on five bars, so it was a lot easier to close that gap. This time, only down to two. But two is all you need here to get rid of Shermie at this moment. Cancel with the spin kicks every time. Gets the stand CD, doesn't completely counter, but it doesn't matter. I believe this will either be it or put him on the brink of destruction. Damn, they're close to it. Blocking that big old jump C. Yeah, and the fear too of the command grab. You have to think about that as well, but the taco's able to connect. Spends an EX on the fireball and on the Rekka, and Shermie is down. But Cyber is not gonna get a lot of life back, and we were in a much, much stronger position last time we went against Shizuru, and still ended up going down. Yeah. It's gonna be even harder. We got that 5D on reserve. Oh, no, with cancel. Oh, no, uh, uh, cancel should stay into the Rekkas, but it's fine, we got the hit. Oh, no. I was so afraid for him. That's sweet from Yuri. Can uh, definitely get punished, but unfortunately, Peggy left and lets him live a little bit more. If that was the EX upper, could have been game again. The chase down, the close scene, not in proximity, though. Oh, oh no, no, no. the chase down! Great reaction there from Cyber, Mr. Guerrero. Howl at the moon, tying it up 1 1. Ow! Mm. The comeback. That it ain't over till it's over, baby. Damn right. And just like that, we get a third game of this set.
Damn, she got a team sacred treasures teammate. Damn, she got a mansion though. That's what I saw. He's like, you could have stayed in your mansion. I know Shizuru was balling like that. I mean, you see, bro, she gives off that that she's she's a lady, bro. She gives off that elegance. Not surprised she has a mansion. I'm sure Yori's got one too. Nah, I don't think so. Oh, he probably spends all his money on clothes. <laughs> it's all on clothes and band equipment. Ready? <laughs> Yuri living in one of them uh, those studios out here in New York City. He's paying like 3K for a box. But it's alright because he's got enough space for a high HBO statue. <laughs> That's true. It's up right now. Belmont style. Nice uh, uh. Hands off. Saki just patiently trying to move on in. Sent right back into the corner, though. Not too good for Cyber MX. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, hesitated. Yeah, Hesitation is defeat. Yeah, they, that whip DP, even on whip. Ass <laughs> <Yeah>. up. <laughs> I mean, that's the way we like to see the next game happening here. As Shermie comes in, real whip is whip potentially. I mean, you, you got a lot of health, bro. A lot of health. Ooh, that was kind of tricky there. Not quite able to confirm, unfortunately. This time, no hesitation. Hesitation is defeat. It's Cyber MX looking to get a redemption. Suplex City. Oh, population, your brain on the floor. Two C, get in with the ballerina twirl as well, and then the close T. Gonna be able to close that out and tie it up. Shermie with full health going into this next round. Yeah, and you damn well know that close C was just a throw set, right? Because it looked like Shaggy was petting up for a tick throw. So the fact that we didn't get it, Israel had his hands out already. I can see it. Look at you, boy! You're not leaving this corner, homie. Bro, this matchup looking like a strawberry sundae. Huh. Lawn and the pink. There's the cross up. And a max meter. Shermie. Gonna go into level three here afterwards. Mm -hmm. Be a fool not to. That's so much damage. That's or it's on, bro. What's she saying, Java? What's she saying? I wish that was me. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and then immediately into the command grab. What a round there from Peggy. Both these players have literally been taking the round back every single time. Like, whenever they win, they have so much health left in reserve. Just back and forth. And Yuri brought things back for the team last time. See if we can replicate that again. We've got a big lead here. It's going to hurt. Yeah, you did. Spend it. Maidenless Masher is Yori. We're going to the final round. Maidenless Masher, man. That's a crazy name. No Maidens? No Maidens, Yori? She's ruled from her mansion. Bro, Yori ain't got no Maidens. She's too focused on Kyo. Kyo's like, you were Maidenless, but did you know I was the Maiden you always wanted? Oh, nice 2B stuffing. Great check. Catch down on the meter with it as well. Oh, Kevin Nash. That next one is definitely going to get max cancel. You could believe that, baby. Oh, no anti air this time, though. Ooh. Again with the rehop. Peggy just stealing turn after turn. Oh, but the shatter strike is going to steal the game here. He's going to steal the channel. No, no, this time the fireball, but that's all right. <laughs> the air to air is enough to close it out. All right, all right, all right. But now we have Angel versus Athena to kick things off here. Leonba versus Kelza. Athena, I will go. Let's go, Cycle Soldier. Someone said Robert Pattinson, Terry. No, Robert Pattinson should be Kyo. We're going to whitewash Kyo. Hold on, what? Why don't we get the Henry, the Henry Cavill Terry Bowl? We're trying to see that. Ooh. Hold on. You're right. Well, I'm trying to see what this on hell is going to do for the Envon. I now get getting tossed by Athena. Ooh. Oh my god. No way that happened. Starting time and space with that fireball. With the throw. Dash on in. I don't know if it's because I was watching TNS Marvel last night, but this saw uh, Angel Colors give me Virgil vibes downstairs. 
It is. It's just very blue, isn't it? <laughs> very blue. Oh, Van Scott with the $100 wow. direct contribution. Big money buck. Shout out to Van Scott. Thank you so much for supporting TNS. Yeah, the absolute love and generosity is incredible. Thank you. For the top. Ready? Saying back with a vengeance. Let's raise the heat and put some pressure on the players. Very well said. Thank you so much. And just like that, we have more stakes. That was funky. Someone please put that where you can. She, she did her uh, Unchained Serpent on the other side and Joe wasn't even there. That was wild stuff, but gonna complete this combo here. Immediate blowback. Get off, he sent on a fireball also. Just prevent Leon Vaughn from rushing right back on in. Trying to control the avenues of movement. And Joe needs to subdue her quickly. The timer is running down. Leon Vaughn recognizes that. He's not gonna go in. I think that's a good idea, but he tells her he's gonna have to press forward. Every time you get close, it puts you potentially at risk of losing more life. What a throw tech, too, from the Van. It's really making Kelza work for all of these openings. What a chase down there, too, but oh, overextended the jump. Now, and Isla. She is LA Lakers, Isla. I don't know what's going on with the socks, though. Why is her socks like, in the What's happening? It's called being hip, all right? Oh, that's what it is? It's I thought it was her mom let her dress for the first time by herself. I was, that was me at six years old, bro. Had a Timbaland boot on and a Nike on the other shoe. That's crazy. Ooh, crazy. There. Nice. Utilizing the double jump straight into the dive kick to try and get over that fireball. No, the shatter strike. Wasting some leader there. Wasting leader, I should say. Kelza going down. Nice combination. Salma Hayek as Shermie. What's up? Hold on. I see y'all, chat. I see y'all. Andy Bogard coming on in. There's the quick max on offense, not on hit. Just trying to find an opening. Not going to work, though. Very smart from Kelza just to weather the storm. Does get hit by a taco, though, into the corner. Oh, my God. Watch your dome, Andy, please. Forehead looking like a target spot right now. Just getting blown up. That's a punish, too, if I've ever seen one. Able to get the wake-up throw. Oh, my God. Just fast falls right into a throw from Leon Vaughn. Things are not looking too good. Kelso is just kind of scrambling here. Yeah, those, look at the air options from Isla. She does not have to deal with any of those fireballs. Makes it very easy for her to navigate through. And he's chilling. Leon Van, uh, once again, has a character lead. The 10 on back in the way. And he's the one that needs to recover all the help. He's the one that needs to pursue. And he does with the upper Oh, the 2B. Oh, yeah. This is bad. This is bad. Unless you could call out a fireball and throw out the level 3. I think that's what Kelso wants to look for. I think that's the only way you're actually going to do this. Oh, but that 2B. Across the ankles. This is just the start of a new. Dab me up, homie. Legend. Yeah. Man, you know what would have been crazy is if Kelzo threw out a fireball and then anti with the level three. We could have seen that, yeah. Could have gone into the air and done the level three raw in the air too. Yeah, Andy has multiple ways to hit that level three. Uh, you can also convert, right? You could just uppercut right into it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's dangerous, but um, I mean. He was trying to hold his meter just in case he got to the final round. And then while I do understand that, man, you got to spin that meter when you can. Keep yourself alive is more important. And uh, here we go. Athena with the Psycho Balls. The harassment actually nearly guard breaking on him. Oh, no. We were doing so well into the raw roll. Spared to live another day. I was liking what Kelso was doing with his team. He probably might be the most comfortable character, at least, in this on Hellman. Ooh, buttons for days. Uh-oh. Snap the anchor. She's in. Dates the roll. Nice option select there. Got one more chance to guess, Athena. Oh. Oh, car cancel to escape. Beans, beans, beans. Get out of there. She's eating beans. Venus from the UK. She loves it. Good breakfast. Toast. Oh. Getting put to bed here, though. Athena is out. Stand to a ground. 
Joe is back in. Seeing a little bit of a rerun of what we saw from the very first game, right? Yeah, very much so, We're running it back. Joe's got to wrap things up really fast. Okay, golden heal. Ooh, even up for that. So I got to get a position for this one. Oh, gotta be careful with these rolls, though. On Hell is so good at catching a player trying to roll out of harm's way. For sure. Leon Van has already demonstrated that earlier. Showing just how good they can be when it comes to options like and blowing up the rolls. Oh! And speaking of blowing up the rolls, getting blown up right there. Overhead connects into the throw. But what? That's not even the reversal. You know what, Kelso? I respect it, bro. He said, get off of me. Die. Please. Her name might be Angel, but she's definitely a demon right now. Get away. And now Fallen. Time to bring in Isla. Let's set up some nasty cross on her, though. A one frame throw, baby. Whoa. What up, Rod Max? I don't think that was on purpose. No, we could have got so much more. Oh, they're trying to keep the distance. Oh, to chase up to the skies. Nice block on the taco there. Oh, God, we needed that block, dude. That was definitely KL throw tech. And I like the way the fadeaway jump almost coming into play. Yep, and wait at that time. We're adapting in real time here, Jobber. Yeah, it, the adaptions were great. I mean, Kelso did get blown up by that exact same taco in the last game, right? I mean, just even game one, uh, a round one of Athena running into all those neutral jumps from uh, from my hell. So taking a step back with Joe and, and uh, punishing him was really good. As we get L Z coming through with the raid, you guys came in just in time. Fireball is out. EX1 put a little more stank on it. Oh, man. Oh. I know, but running into it. <laughs> the combo breaker. The buzz killer. Tells him, though, still in control at the moment here. The fireball is so annoying at times because it moves so slow. And it has three hits of it. Three point hit points. So not everything can blow through it fast. Who is going to take the win? Question Max Powers. Final round. Ready? Go. Let's find out right now. Nice. How much sweeps again? So much Andy knows how to deal with. You don't want to give her fireballs either too much. Oh, whoa. Elbow. Kind of lets it rip there. Not the right time. Oh, I like it trying to go for the speech and music. Not going to quite work out, though. Yeah, that's one thing. Andy's anti airs aren't the best. He has to rely on uppercut a lot. Especially in this matchup, I'd say. Yeah, see, you're just right there. The, the standee getting destroyed by that jump in. Yeah, you're going against a character with really strong jumping normals as well. Oh. I mean, we're navigating this slowly and doing a great job. EX Garajan's out of the corner. It's going to get swept, though. All this damage is just building up slowly, but surely not quite able to get the confirm. That could have been it for Kelzo, but the clock is running down. The timer, too. Oh, he blocked that. Oh. We're giving up a lot of meter and damage. So look at how close things are just like that. Jobber. And we're on nine seconds. Bro, run away. Just, bro, just run away. Don't get greedy. Oh, my God. He's going to EXDP. What? He's going to EXDP. Oh, oh, the elbow. Come on. Oh. Bro, the kip up. <laughs> what a stellar fight. Yo, saved by the EX. Oh, my God. Again. We're going to 1-1. One, one, I need to remember this feeling. <laughs> I can see everything clearly. He had the Tokido eye drops. That's crazy, bro. Yo, the Roto, the Roto eye drops. He had them, bro. You can see it now. Bro, the Roto man? Shout out to Roto man. Shout out to Roto man and Roto. Lee. Yeah, Roto, Roto man's Ready? life. It's a couple goals, you know? It's Roto. This is Roto. All right, here we go. Game three. Oh, 
that was over. Looked a little shaky with the Andy at the end, but I still think the adaptation from Kelzo is going to come into play a lot. Of course, we get rolled into a combo. That's all half a bar. With damage, I mean, uh, uh, Angel's damage is insane. Unfortunately here, Athena, even though she's so slippery, is getting caught. There's the grab. Gonna get a nice little confirm off of this. And, and that's the best way to deal with Huntel, right? You can't have her too close to you, too far for the command grab, and it definitely would work. Twice too far away for the advancing strike as well. Whoa, oh my three. god, bro. Uppercutted out of your command dash. Are you kidding me? Hey, no teleports here. Just smacked. It looks like she went to another dimension after that one. Just straight up. Sent to the Shadow Realm. And now Joe, once again, having to pick up Athena Slack. That's kind of been the, uh, the story of the set. Man, a few more of those gold deals. I really like that entry mode. You gotta make it count. I would spin. Oh, actually, don't even need to, right? Characters are not Good damage enough right there from Joe. This is actually huge. This is the best that Kelso has had Joe life-wise going up against uh, Isla. 100%. Okay, so the raw maximal that happened last game was a maximal. And we just hit it again. And it's gonna work out. We got some decent damage, don't forget. And raw max not only do you build meter, but you also get a damage boost. I believe it's a 15% damage boost, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so it's not a bad choice. And there are a lot of characters who actually can't utilize it very well. Combo in here. Yeah, we have to watch some of that actually happen at uh, Astro Finish not, uh, not too long ago. Oh, land him on it. Land it on it one more time. Sitting on that tornado, you can't be doing that. Oh no. The spacing though on the slash there didn't get punished, but. Still, only their anchor remains. Max Power is bringing up the heat again. And it's down to get Andy Bogart for the final time. Let's see, can Andy pull it off? Two in a row. Oh no. Try to preemptive uh, air to air, but. Andy taking all this residual damage. All right, fireballs, gotta be careful with that one. I mean, level three is a huge threat here for Kelzo. Has the opportunity to just throw it out, especially with how often the Ant-Man's jumping. If you could just time the jump right, he came to that super. Oh, he's trying to catch something with the DX elbow. That catching these hop CDs. Look at turn back. I am impressed with that. No, that was it. That will definitely climax with because of the input. What a oh, great that is right. Yeah. We've all been there before. It happens. We gotta go back to neutral to hit that input. Clean. But, uh, regardless, GG. Duel on doesn't need that much to get things started. Me no, just has to get you into the air. That's really where the mix up comes. It's those left, rights running underneath you. Right. Oh, boy. Reno's play on one side, so you know what that means. The same metal slug song, let's go. <laughs> nice roll through on the fireball. The wake up mash with 2A. It's gonna work out. Long Reno to escape from the corner here, at least temporarily. Wow, the right time to dark roll. Doing that so early, really gonna make Reno second guess those fireballs. Yeah, that's two rolls for the fireballs, too. I wouldn't be surprised if Reno doesn't throw out any more here for the rest of this round. Mm -hmm. Look at the spacing from Kula. It's right at that tippy top range of that 6B. Utilizing it so well. Hey, Scar can't the trade a little bit of space. Oh, actually able to get the 2B, but not confirmed into a nice throw. Set up the ghost. No way, the ghost was still active to dissipate the other fireball. That was just a clinic of neutral there in massive callouts from Kula. Calling out those fireballs, and we, we were kind of right. We didn't see a single fireball until the end there when Reno sent it out to get rid of the ghost or to challenge the ghost. Yeah, definitely made him think twice about that, right? Having the meter. And that's the, the cool thing about KOF, the universal option. Even if your character might not have a reversal or certain tool to deal with stuff, you have the system mechanics to use to blow the screen. Wow, look, look at the spacing yet again. 
<laughs> really enthralled the coolest player right now. So, you know, try to find a big hit. Of course, all it takes is an extremely active game for Oyash. And he's spending two, making sure that this goes for his head. Yeah, that is the, the real uh, wave. I, I don't want to say power, but I guess the wave of effectiveness of a character like Duolong versus Orochi Yashira, all right? Duolong is the kind of character that is going to kind of uh, death by a thousand cuts you, but has really strong neutral. Not saying Orochi Yashira doesn't have strong neutral. He's got some of the best buttons in the game, second only to Geese. But uh, when he hits you, it's going to hurt. Speaking of hurt. The <laughs> mustache! <laughs> that kind of hurt. Yo, what's that mean? I've been seeing that meme all day yesterday, bro. No, it's too close to the fireball. Check your privilege at the door, sir. So, the, the reason why you're seeing that, it's the new Kendrick album. Go listen to it. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. We got mustard on the beat again, bro. Another one. Oh, speaking of beat. Level one, yeah, get that OP. Oh no, yeah, what are you gonna do at that point? Let's go for another uppercut. Player two going down. Cool is bringing in his anchor character, Vinny Morrow. Stand to a ground. Ready? Go! Oh, bro. Wow. <laughs> What a hitbox. Level one again, putting on the herd. Here comes the pain. Some characters, Yashiro in particular, just has amazing jump. Man. All five of them can be utilized. Oh. He's bustling. Oh, the whip punish. Bro, you try kicking. Man, that move is getting killed in this match. I already know it. <laughs> I already know. It's like, like, every time I see Kula let it rips, and he's just so well, like, he uses it better than others, man. Just as a whiff punish tool, he gets the full conversion after it. That move is getting shot. I just have to feel it. It's over. Stop surviving. It's over. I'm ready to maul. The patch goes not even out yet, Stop it. I'm ready to play. <laughs> Bro, in full humor mode already. No. Ooh, grip him up. The X style. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, see? Putting himself into position to possibly go for another whip punish. Kochisa. He's gonna stay away as Ash Crimson doesn't want to advance at all. Fully build a meter, too. You already know. Sam Clout come in. Oh, nice! Sticking that leg out there with that shit. That's in a run up. Oh, no mercy. Oh, air to air. Turn out the fireball here. Get that level three. Reno just has to have one touch, but this is really scary. Yep. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate. EX Slicer right through the fireball. And at that much help that Kula had, I don't think Reno even needed Sam's bullet to close it out. I think one simple max combo would have been enough. So just got to look for that opening next time. And looks like just goes straight into the rematch. No order change needed here. And I like that. I mean, that was really a game that could have gone to either player at that point. For sure. Down the wire. Lots of meter on both players' Whoa. sides here. Oh, but this uh, this duel on, man, the clinic he ran in the first game. Let's see if Reno has any adaptations. No order switch, which he's uh, prone to do sometimes. He's going to lock it in on this. Talk about active frames on jumping, man. I have CD from Hyder. Right out of range. Ooh! I thought he was going in for a low confirm there. I was scared for a second. And Rita already playing this round a much better. Oh, not quite able to actually get a full confirm off that jump and punish. Now put up against the ropes. Oh. Trade. Oh, another trade. Back to back. Stinger. And I like that chase down there. You notice Reno likes to go for just back and away. I think it's Stinger on, on block. So, chase down from Kula. That was so ambiguous. I got mixed up too. Didn't see where he was coming as Kula was going to take the first round. Kula starting off strong. 
I love this duel long. It's just this matchup in particular, duel long with Orochi Yashiro, feels difficult. If you make a mistake, yep, that can happen to you. But like you said, that 5,000 cuts, I mean, we got three significant openings. Still pushing him down. Finally, sub 50%. <laughs> Great containment here from Kula, just matching the energy of Reno. He's about to be, <laughs> yeah, he almost got caught that time. Whittling him down bit by bit here. And that's enough to take down Orochi Yashiro. Absolutely massive round for Kula. Yeah, dissected him like a frog. That was really good. Round three. Ready? Go! Put it. Final boss music play. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, it's not like, uh, it's not like Beavis and Butthead. We... <laughs> Five bar Ash. Taking on a former teammate. Caleb 2003. There's a flash kick. Oh, you're dead. No. No, you didn't at all. Okay, come back. So right now, you're like, you're not even building any resources, right? So you might as well spin something in that case. Cool is happy to do it as well. Go for the number one. There's a stomp. He is so comfortable right now. I'm surprised not even spending meters defensively yet. Oh. Yeah, you can't afford to get hit like that again. Spin some meter there. <laughs> Just rolling out of the way. Yeah, cool is quite comfortable in the set against Reno. Not sure how Reno can make this comeback. It is not out of the realm, but I mean, even right here, Duelon can pull things out. He ran the clock so well. It's already 13 seconds. With Ash wins, he's still not getting much help back. And especially with under 10 seconds here, it's going to be next to nothing. Ooh. Oh, he didn't want to spin anything there. He's gonna get the kill. He's gonna go for chip, perhaps. Oh, I mean, at this point, if you win through timeout. One second buzzer beater throw. Bro, I, this is going to take a miracle for Reno. Look at this. Dude, this is going to, the real is going to sneeze on him and ask him to die. The only way Reno can make this comeback is like hitting a clean stun sans play combo. I think that is the, it's a 100%. Possibly the only way. And, and Kula is just looking for the jumps. Yeah, there you go. Send up the fireball again. And Kula is going to take it. Moving on to winners, finals. What a performance. 2 0. Oh, your cookie. All right, yeah. Good save. Good save. All right. Straight on into the round. 2 C punish. That 2 C is such a strong whip punish. The way it's like moves the first off. Yeah. And, like when you look at the normal, right? The frame data, uh, they're like, oh, this is not good, right? Because of a large windup. But this player, I was going to say, these players have used it for whiff punish too. So they're trying to go for it there, but Yashiro first made. Yeah, this time it ends up getting whiff punish. Oh. Okay. Recovery there. On Hell's going to go for the follow up. You see there, Luis just wants to throw out hitboxes. Just grabbing her through the shatter strike. You're gonna die anyway. Layer two. Keeping up that pace. Monster. <laughs> Just screaming at there, monster. Bro, you'll understand. Trust me. I'm gonna go check it out. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't listen to the album yet. If you want the song? It's uh, it's TV off. Got it. Whoa! Hey. That was a crazy pickup after the two C. Ooh, it is style for it. I like it. Oh no. That was a little bit of that uh, player expression. People like to it. Oh boy. Is she bad? He's spinning two? Oh, we're gonna spin one. Actually, no, one is probably still enough. Actually. Yeah, yeah it is. sure is. It's because the super has like no scaling. Zero scaling. Until now. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> the day is the number, though, Yash. <laughs> Reach for the top. Ready? Now whip coming on in. Oh, are we conceding? Okay, we're back in. <laughs> Luisio, better man than I. Same. He advanced. All right, hold up. I took the control away from my little brother. Now it's 
<laughs> oh, he's trying to find the gap to go for the dash to man grab. I like the idea, but ends up not losing Roji Oh, no. Oh, no, Ro. Okay, there it is. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not today. I was getting a little scary, because, I mean, that's the one character you don't want to get ran on. Like, you're going to lose so much health and the lack of resources, but here comes our brother, K-Dash, in here. He's bars. Character we saw a lot of at uh, Astro Finish, right? Three of them in top eight. Uh, this character was phenomenal, performing so incredibly well. Especially with such a high character, but this late in the game lifespan, it just makes sense. Yep. Damage here. Still have Raw Maxwell for the end, but just find some hits. But no, the right time to roll. Straight through the normal there. K Dash takes it for Luisa Lum. Luisa Lum. Winner! He's so sick. He's so cool. <laughs> I'm not the type you can just whip into submission. I get it. Get it? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think if K-Dash is one of your favorite characters, The Matrix is probably in your top 10 movies. <laughs> yeah, your whole wardrobe is just long leather Maze coats, right? Black leather, bro. It goes crazy. Ready? Go! <laughs> Go. That was an impressive first game from Luis. Make the adaptations. Great start right there. Anti air 2C. Yeah, and that's the problem, right? That grab from Yashiro is so disrespectful. One of the better reversals. Oh man, actually got a little scrambly there. On health maneuverability going against her. That scenario, and there we go. German suplex. JD finally gets caught, scooped again. Here comes the level one. No. I'm gonna save some of it. Now he's definitely going to spin it. You are not in this corner. And JD's going down. He does everything with such bad intentions, bro. Just the sound effects of your body hitting the pavement. What a dangerous society is this Oyashiro. Oh, the sound design is crazy. Beautiful hit. I love chunky. I love. I was gonna say I love hearing it like, like tournaments where like the speakers, like through the speakers, so good. Uh oh, here we go once again. Ooh, the bass on that. Okay. Bobby the opening, but we'll take the damage we can get. We got the corner. Break can. Yeah, spend it all. I agree. Totally. Kill him. That was a beautiful conversion there. Sloppy opening, like you said, but still locked it down and closed out the round. Trying to go for another throw. What is with these kid ass players in their throw I feel like they love to just go for tick throws. Must be big Street Fighter 6. Nothing about it. The water for these ass players. I think just the threat too of him catching you, especially when you're in the corner, uh, attempting to jump out is real scary. It's probably also the fact that he has a double hitting cancel with the C, right? So it's like, yeah. yeah, even if my throw doesn't work, I still have time. Uses the EX blackout to cross on the other side. Yeah, yeah we probably have to flop. Yeah. <laughs> too slow. <laughs> Too high on the taco. Great match there from Luis with the throw. Uh, K-Web 2002, that overhead is, uh, you can't see it, man. It's instant. It's so that sounds horrifying. horrifying. Bro, I gotta show you how it looks. It's, it's very horrifying. Blocking a standing low. And again, yeah, Luis is doing a great job of just baiting out with Ian Van likes to roll off the corner. And we're going for optimal punishes too. You can simply go for throw punishes, right? Because they're a little more guaranteed since throws are designed to beat rolls. But nah, I like it when a player knows their spacing and knows where they have to get more optimal. Oh man, Leonbot has this quick max available. Actually gets to use a little bit of it too. Oh, super. No. Yeah, we wanted the grenade super. Got one instead. That's tragic. And then just DP in your face. It's not your turn yet. What? <laughs>
This is Did it again. I can't World believe that worked. Oh, he's Winner! so cool. So dash. So K dash. Oh, oh, in and out whenever he one. desires and uh, have them get acclimated to the upcoming yeah. adversary. But here we go. Low cost and violent pain. Two SWC finalists here. We're going head to head. Low cost kicking things off with the point. Yamazaki. These colors oh, fire on. The Yamazaki? Yeah, it's nice. No way you didn't convert. Yeah, he gets the optimal punish too with a dash in close seat. Wow, he jumped out of the second sand kick. Okay. Oh my god, run a PF grab. Face out the DP and get rid of Rock. Fading out the DP there with the safe jump is so smart from Lokoff because you know Violent Kane is a player who is willing to send out those wake up DPs. Yeah, he won't stop. I mean, he's got a team full of them. We might see that come out here again. Wow, look how much health is left for Yamazaki. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, he got so much back there. And I also love the spacing that we're seeing. Stopping just short to stay in safe arm range. And catching DK with these whip punishes too. Yes. All right, I got a big boot for you myself, man. Oh, the batter strike. Spiking it down. It's big. I think he dropped it. Eight DP follow up instead. I don't want to give him too much health, though. I mean, you're in the range to eat a poison in the comp, so. Be careful here. He nearly got punished for that 2C, but a nice sweep right into the EX Pro. Oh, he tried to go for it again. Yeah. <laughs> it's a huge radius on that EX command grab. And thankfully, you finally came with you. Wake up a bar a too late. Get away from me. You got some nameless theme in the background. I hear you. Oh, yeah. Hit. Here for BK as well. Not trying to overextend, but does get caught in the skies. Oh, if he was a frame later on that minute spike, it would have worked. Yeah, bro, you are not going to be able to throw out a fireball afterwards either. Lokov just being so vigilant there with the slicer. Reach for the top. Ready? I to stop any type of advancing movement there. Now. Down to real Sakazaki. Man, here, so just taking so much priority. Another good wake up match. Okay. Lokov's going to have to watch his knockdown. Here. Make sure he doesn't get caught running like that. He's setting some of these turns. Well placed, Danny C. Oh no, the fireball actually didn't punish. He threw it out just a little too early. That's unfortunate. He flashed with the final frame there. Mm -hmm. He was able to get the punish because of it. He's chased down. I mean, he's eating a lot of Sprite right now. He is sparking, bro. That's not a McDonald's Sprite. <laughs> just tastes like TV static. You already know. <laughs> Oh, it actually pushed out a little too far. Our resources, though, just sends the e idol kicks. Crazy. And it clearly paid off, so Lokov knew exactly what he was going for there. Yeah, that was a really fast-paced match, too, for the amount of characters that both players lost. And they're just going right into it. No swap here for VK. Feels confident in the team. That's all I heard. Like you said, immediately selecting, no order switch, no character switch. Round I mean, to be fair, Ready? I think this point match was working out until that big EX elbow dropped. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I can definitely agree with that. You got mischief. Thank you so much for the sub. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't even blame him for not converting off that forward. I was expecting it. Dude, he gets so much out of that. Oh, look at that combo! I thought he was on the ground already. Those are bringing out all the new tech here. He's trying to go for that big jump in. Goes in for the poison, that will do it. No. 
And player one clinches the first round. That's what I do when I get gum on the bottom of my shoe. I just go crazy. Off it out, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Mischief for a gift sub coming through to Ed Wandy. Appreciate ya. Now this Yamazaki looking so healthy. Bit of a repeat of what we saw last game, bro. We've seen this story before. That's too good. Got resources. No block to EX minutes. Like, he came over too badly there. Low call. Happy to oblige with the punish. Oh, God, I wasn't deep enough. We're fine. Oh. Careful here. Okay, EX Snake Arm not quite able to actually convert off of it, but there you go. Getting the stray hit, cutting down K-Dash. Preemptive 2C. Yamazaki still the point character for Lokov. Ain't looking too good for our hero. Bro, <laughs> 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 can always hear. Yeah. down. Oh, very good. Get the kill. Yes. And now VK has to bring this all the way back with just Rio. But he's got three bars. That is two touches on the same mark. And all those hits from- Oh, no! I was gonna say all those hits from CK aren't deep enough to get the full combo from jumping, but those were the Hail Mary heavy toxins. Gotta be wary of those. And Mokok's spacing, again, showing you how great he is at it. <laughs> Damn it, still not enough to close it out. How does VK survive here? That Major in Lightning. Anything will do at this point. Oh, straight hit. We have five bars, but runs right into the slicer, and that's gonna be it. Low cost. Moving on to winner's final. That was an excellent display of neutral. He has some tools right with Yamazaki. He has access to counter. Uh, EX double return can be used as a, as a DP in a way. It's all about how the matchup plays out. Advanced Scott yet again with a 2150. So generous today. Thank you so much for supporting TNS KOF. Yeah, saying that he likes round numbers, putting us at a round 150 in the match arena. Thank you again so much. I like it. I like it. Okay, stuffing the snake arm there. Just sticking out a long limb. I got one for you, says Yamazaki. Who is jumping? Yeah, he's making it work. Everyone is either straight up uh, beating him or trading with Lokov. He just stomping from full screen. Set out the ghost to cover the approach, but it was a fake out on the approach. There's another one. Ooh. Wow, it looks like Lokov trying to hesitate for something there, but Kula's still pressing onwards. But you gotta do up and through there! You a jump in, he's a jump in. Look at the health difference now. The first time in the round when Lokov has more health. Again, that jump in. Premier, I would say the Premier hop one was hockey. Yeah, absolutely. Incredibly, incredibly strong, versatile move there. And Lokov able to come out on top of that round, but even Yamazaki yeah, still down. A lot of unhealth. And Benny Maru can easily clean this up. Oh, 6P yeah. oh. almost got punished. Interesting. That wasn't uh, enough to punish. I know Yamazaki's 6P is minus. If you just do it and not special cancel into it. Even the knees weren't fast enough. Other one. There it is. Picking up that long old trip from from Penny Maru. Oh <laughs> Yeah, you already know the Yamazaki voice actor was just in the studio having a good time. He's the best. Dude.
He is the best. He's really the best voice actor in this game. There's death animation too, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Lots of pink hair on the screen. Green versus Blue Benny. No, he activated. Oh, was cool to want it, but hey, we're going to get some mileage out of him instead. Great way to capitalize on the actual maximum. Bro, double EX right, Jenkin? This guy. Hey, I got one for you, says Kula. Pick your left for low call. He good. Try to go for the drill. Double overhead there, but even in the feet, Kula, uh, uh, low call, excuse me, ends up guard cancel rolling, so losing meter, taking it away from Geese. Reach for the top. Ready? Go! Right, Jenkin oh. versus Raifuken, huh? Who's gonna come out on top? And if they are. It's cool, back to being comfortable. This is the first time we're seeing Geese all back, too. It is, yeah. Lokal finally getting pushed down to the anchor character here. But really, it's just cool has had to slow it down a little bit, and that's all it took. For sure. I was gonna say, I also see these Geese players, you know, suddenly he's not in this bracket. Are they trying to hide him away from the nerfs? It might be a little bit too late, guys. I don't know. Yeah, if we don't use him for a couple weeks, then uh, they'll forget, right? <laughs> don't forget, you know what I'm saying? Keep the same. The fadeaway jump shot. Look, bro, let him have this, okay? He's dead. <laughs> right, yeah. Absolutely. He's dead. He's never coming back. Never see him again. Trying to make this Vinnie Morrow disappear too, and he does. Going to take the win. Clean, clean. Just again, harassing with that 2D, that air fireball, ground fireball, trying to find that stray hit, and finally struck. But not out of the woods yet. You are in one touch kill range. You will die just like you did in Art of Fighting 2. Yeah, yeah Lokov recognizes that, so he's trying to play the best he can. So good. The big startup of the jump. Pop CDs in. Yeah, man, straight up T poses on you with that. Animation. Oh, nice back roll. Boarding the fireball. And yeah, Lokov has to play this so low. Bomb is. You're backed up against the wall. Nowhere to run. This chip damage is adding up. Yep. Of course, it's easier to get out. Oh, yeah. Too early. Kula's patience was being tested when he is passing the flying colors. So that's one what? game. This is three out of five, though. Sorry I overdid it. <laughs> Call the medical team. <laughs> Why are you saying that to Geese, bro? That's what I'm saying, yeah. Geese this of all people? Order. This dude was behind the kidnapping of your younger sister, bro. How, how could you? He's just a nice guy. Wow. Geese, Geese really got the whole hood in South Town confused, man. It's That's to crazy. Up in here. Politicians know about him, but all the kids in the neighborhood, they love him. He's the kingpin of crime, bro. Man of the people. Cool dope also, boy. Wh what is this Lokoff emote? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I, look, I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know what it is, but here we go. I want to know who's going to come out on top of this match. Lokov starting off hyper aggressive here now. Need. See if we can have some adjustments for Lokov. Usually being the one to set the pacing of the match, but Kula's been doing a phenomenal job at that. That's been to the detriment of Lokov's gameplay. Look at that. The anti air 6 even from that far. And each one of those ground stops too puts you back, right? Every time you tech roll, take an even further step back, give a dual on even more range to play with, like the 6A into the EX rec. I almost said OD rec right there. EX rec. It's the rev art rec. Rev art? Yo, the, the rev, the, the, the rev, uh, rev art into the rev excel. You gotta rev it up, bro. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Time to rev up these stomps. No, he doesn't go for the stomp. Instead, wow. Should be with a mix up there into the command grab. Apparently, that's a watermelon carved to look like Rikuo from Dark Souls. I'm in there. I'm a, I'm a Rikuo main, so 
that's cool. If that's real. Ooh. Oh, stop the <laughs> I just punched them. Dead in the mouth. Oh. Those beast stick strikes are adding up. Great little anti airs. Oh, wow. Actually, going for the drill kick there. Shutting down Yamazaki. And that double F overhead is dangerous, especially when your health is that low. It turns it into a true 50 50. Spike down. Just like that, Kula starting to tie things up here. Interesting that the only switch from Lokov was to put Beast in the middle and Betty Maru on anchor. And still driving him down to his his uh, middle cap. Excuse me. Oh, anti-air trip. So fast. Oh, fading out the parry. Absolutely diabolical from Kula. I just imagine Benny Morrow going over Geese's corpse and he's like, yeah, predictable, right? Get it, man. Ready? Go! Oh, there yet again. Oh! <laughs> canceling out? Straight in the right Jenkins and canceling the super? Woke up with a fresh idea. Don't show him too much, bro. I need Benny to still be good. Ooh. Oh, turn there. Keep the pressure up. Bend the meter. Kula is trying to run away with this one, Rome. A 2 0 lead will be devastating. Would be after such a great first round, too, from Lokov. No, we back that that one. Yes, we are. Kula's up 2 0 in this winner's this finals. Just the start. That was a hard commitment from Lokov. Winner! Uh, oh, okay. Fans. Fans come first. You know who pays his bills. <laughs> That's right. You think fighting does? Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, it's his social media, bro. <laughs> Select Get out here. You know Benny Mario on TikTok? Yeah, his, his TikTok numbers are crazy. I mean, Rio doesn't got... even know what a phone is. <laughs> yeah, Rio's like, what? I was gonna say Benny Morrow, I mean he he might be the richest, right, in KOF because he's collecting a lot of bags. He's a he's a model by day. He's here. got all the winnings. Unless the KOF prize like pots in lore are not that much. I'd say top three richest are probably in no particular order, Benny Morrow, Geese, Rugal. Possibly. Hey, Shizuru might be up there too. She got a mansion. We found out earlier. Round so one. She got big bucks. Ready? Dude. But like mansion money is a little different from crime syndicate money, you know what I'm saying? That's true, that's true. Oh my god, yeah, there's the parry toss you back into the corner. Yeah, Robert Garcia definitely up there too. The Gar oh, Garcia Yeah, the Garcia Foundation funded the CVS2 tournament actually in Lord, so they got that bread, but there's a trip. Antonov not in that trip, that tax bracket anymore. GG's. He was the king of fighters. He was. Ooh. Now we got the geese on point two. So far working out. Mead. I love that Antonov's theme in this game. It says, I was the king of fighters. <laughs> he's like, he's that dude. He's like, yo, I'm telling you, bro. I used to get all the girls back in. Like, yeah, man. Sure. He, he oh, peaked 14. Yeah. <laughs> 14 was high school for him. Mead. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, okay, nice off CD. Move up back towards the corner. This is a very competitive round. Yulong doing a great job. All this swapping of the order for Geese just not working out the way that Lokal is running. Damn. We tried Geese anchor, then middle, and now point. Yeah, seems like nothing worked. I mean, the Yamazaki was able to take down Kula in the last game, but... It was all downhill from there. Check. 
Ooh, okay. Step in, no. Yeah, probably figured that the damage wasn't worth it, right? Instead, why is he Oki? Because if the stomp wasn't gonna kill, I mean, it's basically the same thing. You're just losing out on Oki. <laughs> right, yeah. And the chip out. Yeah, great spacing there. He was so out of range that anything that Kula would have opted for, he, if he rolls, he recovers in time to punish the roll. If Kula presses a button, he's still going to eat that meaty heavy station. Pretty much uh, a checkpoint situation. Checkpoint situation. Oh, another raw activate. We've seen that so many times today. Yeah, I like that players are experimenting a lot with it now. Why not? It'll get much though. Who was gonna lose out on that bar? He knows he can't get too close to Yamazaki. Runs into the stand CD. Oh, he's gonna spin it all. Oh, we are going in. Does scale quite a bit though. I appreciate it though. Lookoff is trying to make something happen here. Needs to get the character lead. Needs to shut down Benny Mara. Benny Mara has been the biggest issue, the biggest thorn in his side. I would agree 100%. Oh, we're doing a great job with the character. The right time to roll through. And because he rolled through, it actually messed up uh, Lokov's input. Lokov wanted to do whiff, stand C, and so Snake Strike like he always does. Benny rolled into the other side, though he doesn't get that. And you see just how negative that heavy punch is on whiff. Neither side is giving an inch. Yeah, Benny Mara going down immediately at the start of the next round. So down to the anchor battle, set point for Kula. So <laughs> oh. fairly even though. The best bet for Lokov to make this comeback. Oh, the guard gauge. Had to blow back there. The fireball. Works as intended. Great anti air, great like whip punish tool, plus frames from distances. Oh, his DP into Super. What a confirm. Kula is so dangerous. He's in top form, almost jumping through the right Jenkins. Anything at this point should close things out. Wolkoff gonna need quite a few hits to wrap it up and. Yeah. Take another one of those, sir. You will die. Oh. Even a fireball will kill you if you block it. Yep. And just and like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Kula didn't want to throw it from too far away. He wanted to make sure that it was guaranteed yep. that there was no escape. And Kula moves on to grand finals winner's side oh, character, right? A YouTube channel called uh, XDF. Did a fantastic hour long video just breaking down KOF fashion. Like, they're a fashion team. Like they broke down KOF fashion. It's a really great video. You also check it out when you have the time, but right now we're checking out this match. I can't imagine KOF always known for their like really cool character designs and like having a leg up on fashion. Great to see. And just like that EXDP was right off the corner. Look at that, trying to fish out there with the, uh, the 5B, just as a measuring stick, a little bit of a stop sign. Mm -hmm. Just putting it out there. So Louis bringing it back again, three in a row. Why not? Oh, just keep pressing it, get off me. Like, there we go. Keep doing it. <laughs> Such an annoying normal, man. The Rito knows. Yeah, and if you have the range advantage on an opponent with Yashiro, 5B is your best friend. Mm -hmm. Easily, easily. So good at this annoying really? opponent. I think it's even better for a character like Oyashiro, right? Because you get them so annoyed with it, they stop, they stop and block it, and then you dash them. Like, we are going to die. Perfect fight. We move on to Hyder. Battle of the Nike Tech jumpsuits coming your way. Reach for the top. Ready, go. 
Okay. Oh my god. Ooh. Whoa! He managed to roll out of all of that. That's crazy. Yeah, Luis, he likes to go for that blackout. Consistent streams and uh, go for some recent tools. That's, that's fun. See, there's so many different facets of K-Dash that you have. So many moves you can go into. As we're seeing a chain drive right here. Give him that one inch punch, baby. Wow. Oh, no, no, Smokes the spot, yeah. hits the fireball, stomp him. Oh! Yeah, there we go. Yeah, he saw that too. He recognized it. Oh, wait, let me get out of here. Rolling too close. Mid. Round four. Ready? Go! Patience, Reno. Looking like a hungry wolf here. Uh oh, this one's gonna hurt. That's Terry Bogart, but still hit our six. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, drop two. Or three. Yeah, okay, oh, one, never mind. Where did your health bar go? I looked away for a second to grab a drink. Where did your health bar go? Going to take the win. Down to the pits. We have so much meter for both, actually. I mean, your Shizuru can land some hits. You the seal going. Yashiro can't throw. Yashiro gets a clean hit, though. And oh, he can't do that full three. And I believe he could die. No wrong jumping. More than enough health here. Oh, oh lands and able to score the throw. This is big for Reno now. Five bars. Luis, don't get hit. Oh boy. Oh, double roll for Reno. We're gonna spin possibly just now, right? Oh, we're gonna spin. Oh, can you do it? I think so. Even with the scaling, it's not a bad idea to go for it. It should be enough, even with the scaling. Yep. Absolutely. That is for sure enough. This character does obscene, diabolical levels of damage. Last ride, power bomb. And you're still alive. Bro, I mean. She's dead, but that half circle forward command grab scales so much. His other grab has no scaling, and that one has all of the scaling. That was that was kind of crazy that that actually didn't kill. Yeah, I thought she was a goner for real. We'll have to see. Might be a goner yeah, coming this next game, though. This is definitely lose your side territory, so you're done. Saturday will be concluded, unless you enter some of our other brackets later. Go harassing with the jump CD here. Shune trying to get a foot forward. What? what? That was a scrambly situation there. Reno definitely was not expecting the 2C to hit on Luis going into the corner. I don't even think Reno was expecting that. Wow, that, Reno had all the time in the world to just take a couple steps forward there and get that close seat. A nice throw there from Luis. <laughs> right back to the 5Bs. Close up hop Oh, caught him. Miguel is never truly deterred. Even they try to act fast, the, the follow-up of that dash punch, and the fact that he's able to still super cancel it, it just makes for those little gotcha, just like that. Makes for those gotcha moments. Ready? The jump scares. Mm -hmm. Oh, right the ankles. Where you going? Oh no. I think he thought he still had the corner. Lost frames. Crisis averted. We're going to get back all that health. We have quite a bit of meter two at our disposal. Good save. Round three. Ready? Go. Straight to the next round. Dash up 2A. Oh. Oh. 
Another hot CD. Another one. Look at the guard gauge, though. Yep, Luis having to swing back. Look at those two Ds, throwing out three of them. Only one connects, but we do escape from the corner. Right, time to blow back. Yep, exactly how Some more health, too, on top of that. I want everything we got. It's forcing him to block that. Yeah, he wanted to get that chip damage, but doesn't even need it. Shuts down the K-Dash and Reno sound. Now sitting at set point. Point indeed. And it's a lot of health too for Hyder, and so she's always gonna really pop down this tree. The thing is, she's probably gonna have to use her resources to do it. Make it easy for Yashiro to come back in. All three. There we go, slice right through. Two tall, yeah, but the slowly jump from Q0 is gonna work out. Bobby Smurda, the little twirl. Take limbs. Whoa! What? That was a crazy jump out. Luis wasn't able to capitalize though. Could have actually taken out Hyder if he had the right ES follow up. Oh, I'm afraid it still might not be enough. The chase down's gonna work here. We gonna build enough for meter? Yes, we will. Kill. There we go. OTG. What this is, cost. yeah, at what cost? You have no meter, right, going into this? This is going to be really yeah. scary. No meter. Ready. You know, you're uh, Go. on death's door, Go. right? Go. Any Go. crap? Go. <laughs> Reno's <laughs> moving, 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 moving like so Jason Voorhees. He used to, bro. He said, screw suspense. Don't even Let's build it up. Don't lighter. set the stage. I'm matchup. going right in there, man. Get over <laughs> so both of these players trying to fight to get a run. Oh, yeah. Let's see how it goes here. Hot start already for Reno. Oh, Yashiro. You know, definitely a case for possibly the best. One of the best in the world. I think we have to say the best just because the results like Magia winning SWC with Yashiro have to argue that he's still quite the best, but is up there. Definitely in the conversation. JC late this time. Oh my god. That was a crazy block from BK. I don't know how he blocked that one. He has really just been unable to mount any type of solid offense. Those few hits on Reno came with trades. You're giving him everything. Yeah, if, you're, if you're Reno, you just harass with a 5B and 6B, right? Mm -hmm. Or 2A. Just wake up on yeah, I think VK tried to go for possibly another tick throw there, but Reno jumped to the gun right there. Have the 2A ready for him. Damn, those hammer fists, man. Two Cs from Yashiro. It extends him forward a little bit. And there's a phenomenal anti here in the process. Look at that. Yet again. Stop jumping, bro. He is ready. Finally, Kane having trouble trying to find the approach. And Reno's going to dish out massive damage. Actually, if he decides to spin it, this will definitely be enough to kill him. And it is. Now, there we go. That's another character down. Terrifying. <laughs> Someone's getting summoned in the back. Like they're reviving demons or whatever. Hey, Reno is looking like a demon at the moment. Five bars on Rio for VK, and I'm still scared for him. Oh, he is eating the rich right now. Let's see if Rio can spin some of that. Oh, he wanted to run under. That was the idea, but of course, you know, that lumbering jump B. Catching the top of Rio's dome on the way down. Ooh, big whiff. That was really scary. Damn. He might not get the chance to spend any meter here, though. Throw tech comes through. Reno just trying to create some space, trying to get that whiff punish. Almost gets it there on the whiff parry. Yeah, playing from underneath the whole game, it's uh, throwing VK off. So he's not able to get those punishes, and he's going to lose to an Yashiro OCB. This competitor is too strong. First OCB of the night. On top of that, VK saving that five bars for next game. <laughs> Maybe I'll go out with Shuri for some steak and rice. Bro, oh, should have been me. Should have been me. <laughs> Should have been Jobber. Not like this. 
the, he and you you know what time it is because he didn't even mention Chris. Like he didn't say, "Oh yeah, the whole that gang's gonna crazy. go crazy." The whole gang's gonna go for say, "No, no, no." Me and Sherry, Chris, going who? Going Ready? Yeah, he didn't even go. mention Chris. That's crazy. Chris, like, yeah. Yeah. damn, bro. Demon time is Yashiro. I feel it. Here we go. Can you locked into this team as well? Then BK not quite able to mount up some offense. Even when we go in, once we get a few hits on block, we back up and give Reno a little bit of space. Reno is feeling that empty space with buttons. Yeah, the, the mixture between the, the six Bs and the five Bs just throwing up the timing of Violent King's approach. It's a masterful work with that again. Every time he gets in, and then right again, he steps out, and it's a 6 b Okay, that's what we needed. Too far out though, but he still has another chance. Full record confirmed. All right, we got the corner. Big time stuff here. Make it happen. Oh. I like that firing out. EX record. Still one of Kill's best moves, possibly his best move. Because it deals with fireballs and obviously can blow up your opponent if they're not ready to see it coming. And what a comeback, right? No pun intended, but the, the flames were on that kill right there at the end, running it back. <laughs> I wonder if he was close enough to get a command grab to just like steal even more resources. I saw my stomach sound right now. I ain't gonna hold you guys. <laughs> my stomach kind of cooked up, bro. Food too, bro. No, no, no. I, I, oh, you said you don't want to eat. Oh, I got you. I gotta go somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Restaurant about to be looking about like an eye trigger real soon, huh? <laughs> oh, it sound like a Sega Genesis in there. Hold up. VK oh, no, looking a lot stronger in this game. Sitting pretty on meter as well, and especially life with his K dash. But look at that guard game. No, the rollout. Oh. And he actually let the guard go with the hit. Yeah, I didn't want to get guard broken. Oh! Side! K Dash is dead! Set point Reno. After all that hard work, I feel like BK was winning the neutral, but that's just a testament to the style of Hyder. His big, long jump normals makes it so ambiguous to see which side he's gonna land on. There we go. You gotta drop two. I agree. Let's go. Final round. Time to go big or go home. Much needed. BK is down to his last Final life. Round. Essentially, I mean, both of Ready? both of them are. But BK truly down. If he loses this, he will be done for the day. Nice jab. Jack. Yeah, preventing the command grab. <laughs> Firing out the corner. <laughs> Funky situation in that 2C from Yashiro moved him. Making it so real to the other side. I mean, it's still dangerous and peculiar situation. Close to five bars. We don't can get one massive hit that'll definitely close the distance and the light. And there it is. Boom, 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 boom. And now you're on dead store. You gotta get out of there. Yeah, anything will kill at this point. We saw it last time. You see him inching closer and closer with that run. He's gonna get saved, Don't jump. Oh, oh, oh my god, the trade! No! And now you're dead, committing to the EX Hatsu and gonna get gripped up. Yeah. 
DX Tatsu did not swing in our favor today. Oh, VK is going to be eliminated, tying for fourth place. Thank you for playing, Violent Kane. We'll see you next time. Winner. Feel like rivals. Ready? I'd agree. I mean, I think the, the, the trifecta for me is it's low cough, dark Those yes. are like It's like the Triforce of KOF. God. Oh, right? oh, like, up to the <laughs> other side as VK comes with a raid. Thank you, VK, for entering as always. Great performance tonight. Uh -oh. Stop yeah, speaking of performances right now, Yashiro putting a beat down. Ooh, I wonder if we could have gotten more attention there. They did all, maybe a deep seat. In a position to kill off of one hit. Oh, look at the spacing! The 6B right at the tip, going through the recovery of the rotation. All right, 5B. Yeah, checks with 5B are going to be really valuable right now. And, bro, talk about jump scares, right? Kara canceling the stand CD into the dash punch, closing the distance. Got him. He's not running away. Yeah, okay. You want to jump? Oh my God. This battle should bring the height. Uh, putting his hands in your Chat. pocket, taking all your tater tots like Napoleon Dynamite. Give me some of your Learn to fight. Ready? You know Yamazaki got he got tater tots. <laughs> he's definitely the type to like hold food in his pocket. Oh yeah, he's just got raviolis in there. <laughs> he's like, he's like a Death Boy RD and he puts it in his pocket. Doesn't even heat it up, right? Nah, bro. Oh, what a monster. Fucking so hands in your pocket. Hyder and reach and <laughs> Yeah, that's the weakness of Hyder. I mean, those, those normals are so big, but the proximity for when the close normal like, works for him, it, for some reason, it doesn't seem as like lenient or as loose as other characters. So even if he seems to be close up, he still might get a far Yeah, absolutely. All right, creating a little bit of space. This Hydern is looking really, really strong here for Rena as well. Oh, hell, dashing, get the punish there on B. All of this here. He's twisting it. Well, attempting to go for the cross up on a super parry. Twisting it is not what I thought I was going to hear, but now grabbing up again, stealing his essence. All his moisturizer. Ripped again. The bro, did you hear that on, uh, on uh, SmackDown last winner. night? Someone in the crowd winner. yelled it and picked it up on the mic during a backstage. Like, you twisted? Yeah. <laughs> Was that the segment? <laughs> with twisted. <laughs> Was that this with Cody and uh? No, and no, 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 no. It was okay. I mean, yes, yes, it was. With, it was with Carmelo. Yes, it was with Carmelo. <laughs> We'll stop this show. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> but game number one is going to Reno here, but again, he needs three out of five to actually move on to grand final. So Lokov has the opportunity here to bring things back. Round one. And it can be done. Yeah. What type of player Lokov is? Yeah. Yeah. Yamazaki on point now. There's a stomp. Yeah, we get the OPG as well. You don't see that counter get used too often from Yamazaki because unfortunately, if he throws out counter and you cross him up, he won't like turn around. It's not like rocks where like rock will turn around and counter you. Yamazaki keeps going the opposite way. Yeah, it is a very high middle counter. Works out. You get that OTG stomp. What a turnaround, too. The Yamazaki point. Helping out. Man, my man did the whole twirl on it. Heavy stink strike. Right, back to Hyder. Alright, Hyder. Coming in, putting the pressure there. Creates a nice space. I like the back roll. But wow, another parry coming out. Lokov using it again. Just to kind of parry these jump ins. I guess understanding that the distance is too far away for the opponent to actually cross him up, right? Yeah, he's recognizing that. 
The Guardian Ooh. is going to get caught here. Level one. Good read from Reno. Started to pick up on low cost Wykins and just go for Snake Strike. Oh, no, not that's enough. I do like the idea. Try to go for Cross Strike level one. Level two definitely would work because it's a lot faster. But yeah, Reno had to fake jump inbound. It's going to close it out. I'm not going to say it. Here we go. Benny Maru coming on in. You know you want to. I, I want to, but I can't. <laughs> yeah, Tom's back home now, so you gotta be careful. <laughs> the inmates are running the asylum last month, but he's back. <laughs> well, let's see. Can Lokal bring this back? Whoa! Yeah, stuffed. I think trying to go get Slicer and got stuffed in the startup. Yeah, it might have been command grab, right? I think he wanted to do. Maybe missed the end point. There's no way he would do that from point blank, but speaking of point blank, your life is being stolen at gunpoint from Hyder. That's two characters down, man. Finger gunpoint, bro. You know it. Big Bullet Club fan is Hyder. DX fan too, apparently, with the fireball. Evidently, bro. Hit him with the chop, the two words. There we go. Low cough. Really? Volkov has the meter, has the opportunity here, but this this hider on Reno has been a stalwart wall. So maybe we can break the wall down, bro. What the frame trap there? 5A and 2C. Give him a false sense of security. It is still my turn. Volkov with the clap back there on the final round here. Look who you're staring at, man. <laughs> so Yash. Song. I feel like every time I hear it, it's like new notes that I've never heard. That feels like me watching the match too. I feel like I see new interactions every time I've never seen. <laughs> Alright, nice. Oh. Let's jump A. You still have an extra bar for low cough. You want to look for a counter shooter. Oh, he tried a 2 C and he lost his jump, and low cough's going to take game two. Yeah, time things up 1 1. We got a competitive a set. Keep an eye on this what do you guys say, Keith? Much less one spineless to kill. What? what? That's a Rochi Yashiro? What are you saying? Yeah, he disrespected him. <laughs> Big time. That dude ain't too spineless to kill. He loves killing. Yeah, I was going to say that. That's his whole motto, bro. <laughs> you I don't know. He's letting you know. He's like, I don't care if you got demonic powers, bro. I'm really about this life. <laughs> what did I say last week? He doesn't want white people to black belt, bro. You can't beat him. <laughs> I'm trying to beat this weave. I committed to the life. Oh, big trade there. We're going to be in low cost favor with that speed. Oh, a little bit of a lore battle too. Both for members of the Hakashto. Yashiro hates Yamazaki. He doesn't think he deserves to be a part of that. Ooh. Okay, bar point from the uppercut's gonna work out. Ooh. Great awareness, and that was flexing his prowess. He could have just went for a regular throw there, but going for command throw means I knew that's what you wanted, and I'm gonna show you what I could do. 100%. Now, let's see what Hydern is going to be able to do here. Hydern's been that stalwart wall. Really need to keep that foundation strong, but Lokov is just chipping away at it. Yeah, I go as far as to say as Hydern's been the all-star in this set alone. Really putting in a lot of the work here. 
low cough, slowing things down. He's starting to really get an understanding of the pacing of Reno. Oh, he gripped the fireball it's right next to his tater tots at night. You know, that should be a new mechanic for, for, for uh, Yamazaki. It's like he has, like, he just could send fireballs from his pocket, right? But, like, it's just random items if you don't know what's in there. It could be a knife, it could be a cell phone, tater tots. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Big pocket, that's all he keeps it all in there. Oh, two in a row, and that's it. That's all Hyder needs to be back in the saddle. Two good jumping. Player one has victory in their sights. Burn to fight. Now this is the tug of war round. Most important round, or one of the most important rounds of the set here, for Lokov. Stay alive. Take down this hider. Five bars available. Do this all of them. Yeah, right? Just make him guess. Do the command grab or raging storm. What are you gonna do? Yeah, I mean he's got all the money in the world. And I like that he went for the maximum combo just because he didn't have enough time to charge. Right? Yeah. That was smart. Slokov sitting on so much meter. Uses one of the bars there defensively. Gotta go for 6B max cancel. Try it again. Sticking out the fireball does Hyder. And go for it. He might go for Oh, never mind. I was going to say he might run up for the 50 50, but. Yeah, Reno said, let me put myself in the air in general. I'm not going to guess or even want to think about that. So it takes this game. Yeah, X marks the spot there. Now, <laughs> to what, bro? Peace joining bro. the Akari Warriors? Why is every, everyone's trying to save Geese? Real early is like, get a medic for him. Is Geese turning babyface? What's happening here? <laughs> not with the babyface turn, bro. Bro, it, it's, maybe this is like a glimpse into the future, bro. Geese is going to come back from the dead in Fatal Fury. He's going to be like, Rock, I love you. Put it away, bro. Geese will turn babyface when the new day breaks up, okay? <laughs> oh, that's a bet I wouldn't take. <laughs> Okay, we got a, a um, real switch actually for Lokov taking off Benny Morrow. Benny Morrow hasn't been performing mm -hmm. up to his standard. I definitely agree mm -hmm. with this one. And it's your last chance. Why does, might as well go all out and try something different. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely see that. See that decision making there from Lokov. Let's see if it's going to work. If it's going to be able to bring you all the way to a game five here. Or if Reno is going to be the one to move on into grand final. Kicking things off with Yashiro versus Yamazaki. Yamazaki does have a little bit of that range advantage with the snake arm. Yeah. Lay down. <laughs> Here's Tekro. <laughs> uh, they shouldn't even let this guy answer KO. He clearly needs help. He needs to be in the same asylum. He should not be competing in brackets. Oh, he's going down. I love Yamazaki, bro. What a character. <laughs> He is. He's too popular, man. He's really cool. Reach for the guys like, like, oh, go ahead. Go. No, no, I was gonna say guys like him really makes you wonder the how does the registration process work for Kayla? Are you trying to sign him up on Star GG? I don't know. He, I bro, he, he doesn't even know what a computer is. <laughs> Imagine Yamazaki complaining to Zulus on Discord <laughs> about seating. <laughs> Hunched over on a computer, bro. He's huge. <laughs> on his tiny keyboard. Yeah. Nice pullback. Okay. Ooh. Gonna spend a mirror to blow out Yashiro's back. Yeah, oh, baby. Oh. Kyuku Genryu Karate, man. Absolute. Now tying things up, but Reno, of course, with the meter advantage here. <laughs> That's your problem, bro. You got to deal with his seed. I'm glad he didn't attempt it. So what happened last time he tried, and uh, because he didn't have enough time, he ended up eating a chicken. Definitely learning from the mistakes there. Also, don't want to go for anything like that when your opponent is just a little too close for comfort. 
Oh yeah. Back up to the wall now. Not Ooh. face carry into EX Tatsu. Massive play there for low pop. Yeah. Coming out beautifully. Yeah, this real kick. Holding it off in reserve and he's doing so much for him actually. I like that using the EX cross slash to get out of the corner. Again here. But gets the 2A into the quick max. Diabolical confirmed there from Reno. And now here comes possibly around when he picks up. That was not Seems what he wanted. In. Yeah, another safe jump. And again, I don't even think the fireball is super, but chasing him down, you cannot escape your fate, man. Can't escape from crossing fate, as they say in BB Tag. We're down yet again to Grease Power. Can he grease him up? Can he win? Grease lightning here, be slippery, don't want to get caught by Hyder, and there we go. Predictable flash. There we go again, anchor, anchor. Either going to be fish or foul for low call. He might be eliminated, or he might be able to push this to a game five between the two. <laughs> Just whipping so many normals, man. He's like, please, I dare you, try to come. Gargage. Is that Harry? Yeah, that Gargage is getting cranked up now. Oh! The frame trap is gonna catch them this. Whoa! He's gonna hold go up. I think he's gonna do one to uh, three. Two more chance to guess here for Lokov. This could be it. What's gonna happen? He jumps his backs away. Oh, he got him on the dome, but too high. Though we are scrambling right now, bro. And you have to. We'll fucking run this back. He goes out of bar. Eats the, the uh, trip follow up from the record into the OTG. Oh my god. The guard gauge. He's got to save that meter. No! He tried to go for an anti air grab and it just did not was a work out. Keep an eye on this matchup. Oh, call. Bringing it back. And I gotta say, Jabra, I don't know if we see this result. If. Reno opted to do level one to level three. I don't yeah. know. And I'm wondering, maybe he thought he had five bars, which is why he did level two. And then he might have recognized, oh crap, I don't. I only have the four. And he's not able to get the, you know, the level three follow up there. But regardless, man, we're going into game five. This is it. Planned them out team kill. Reno Lokov. Somebody's going home. Someone's going to meet Kula. <laughs> <laughs> Just a big right hand. Oh. Reno might be a little frustrated here. Just running into a lot of these snake on the lobbies. Normal from low call. Yeah, there's that momentum swing, right? The pendulum shifts to your favor. Okay, well, it's definitely a game that, like, when you're on it, when you're winning, when your mind is right, you don't stop it. And your crowds will bite you even the tiniest thing, but that jump C said, hold up. I got all your insecurities, bro. We're going to run it back. This kind of thing that I'll probably for sure. <laughs> bro, run up command grab. It takes you your own medicine. I had the low to firm, but didn't believe. Got to get religious, my guy. One seconds left. Two bars. And there's the EX counter, saving it for when he needs the most. All I hear in the background is. I don't know what to say that, bro. All I hear, bro. That's all I'm gonna hear for the next possible set if Reno wins this one again. Oh. Still got that fireball in my pocket, too. Yeah, and kicking back towards the corner. Just realizing that fireball was trying to keep Reno locked down, but that slides are to escape. Nothing personal. Right behind you. This song also Ready? sounds like a House of the Dead song. Yeah. Goldman. 
Oh wow, parry right in your face. Volkov going for some really uh, ballsy moves here. There's the parry on the fireball with a little bit of a trade. You don't want to send too many fireballs against higher uh, against Rio. Parry he builds significant meter. Nice jump in. No, the wrong combo. That's fine though. He got back dash and setting up. He still got the Oki from it. Yeah. It's a nice little course correction, or even if it was a mistake, it was a mistake that gave him really solid Oki. He just didn't get anything on that mix up. Mm. Hey yo! Uh -oh. Oh. Yeah, it breaks the guard, but it doesn't matter when you're that far out. Oh my god, that was I, that was crazy, but Rito is going to come out on top getting rid of Rio, and it's up to Geese. Uh, I don't think it's set point. I think Lokov wanted EX uppercut, but he might have just been buffering too much and got the super. Or maybe he did want the super, but he did it too late, right? Try to catch the landing frame. It didn't work there because of the startup. Regardless, can't let that get under his skin. It's still a chance for him to run his back and get his rematch with Kula. Another year on Slasher. Oh, yeah, he ran too close. I think he wanted to run throw. Yeah. Nice guard cancel out. 2C from Hyder. This is so nasty. Bro, this damage is adding up here on both off, too. Okay. 31 seconds. Should be back in the green. Down to the wire yet again, but this time this is it. Winner will move on. Loser will be done. Three bars for two. About 75% health on Geese. Not anymore. This will be game over. Reno's gonna advance. Going up to be cooler in the grand final throw. He ran this all the way back, Java. All the way from loser sim. What a run from Reno. Looking so incredibly strong, but the question is, can he take that Kula? Kula's been looking kind of unstoppable. Like, of course, keeping the duel along on point has been a very solid position for his character in this bracket. The order is going to be the same for Reno as well. And we got that Asaka 96. I see you, Kula. Careful by the excitement now came to a close. This one was hype though. Here we go. A look at this. Fades out the reversal. Stretchy arms on Mr. Fantastic. Felt like elastic takes round one with a full health duel on going into round two. True to the ski mask, the York's my origin. Ooh, we already know. We'll get it going. But yeah, Mr. Fantastic in lead right now. I know it's going to have to be Mr. Ma Maestro Olympio, Mr. Clean for his team that run this one. Nice and standing in the anti air. Air guns. Not even pushing you out of the way of a button. That's how long the long button is. Top of limbs. Oh, oh the sun. Oh, oh my god, the safe jump. Brother. It is my turn. When you think it's yours, it's still mine. And finally, a clean jump in over the ghost. And now Reno trying to make duel on Go Ghost here. Has one more mix up to do it. Goes off the side with a nice card cancel to escape, but he's going to get caught. Duel on down and out, bringing the Rio. That's pivotal, man. That is pivotal right there. Those 6 A's, that's the second time that Reno has checked that 6 A. And it's so crucial. A character like Hyder, and that's who advances him forward. The fact that it's a uh, special cancelable just gets him even closer to getting that command grab, which means more help and leader, and, uh, leader for him. 100%. Oh, cancel. Big old T-pose right there from Rio. Oh, 
Oh, the conversion. Oh, whoa. that was a little scary there, but he's able to take down the Hydern. Orochi Yashiro now. All that's left. He wanted to preserve some bar. He didn't want to spend it there. And I do like that as an idea. Normally, I would say go for the kill, but uh, he has enough health that it wouldn't have killed if, if Reno got an extra hit. But this is really scary. You know, four bars here. It's gonna hurt. Oh. Bro, he is bigger and faster and stronger, too. First member of the science. <laughs> Of the, of the Kyuko Gario crew. I got yeah, you. Yeah, there you go. There you go. We're in there. We're in there. Yeah, he is in there like swimwear right now because Reno is bleeding. Might be drowning in this pool. Which one is deep? Dude, Kula is just straight killer mode today, bro. Defcon 4, but he's trying to close this out with another 3 -0. I mean, yeah, so far still has not bled at all. That is game number one here in Grand Finals. Mm hmm. Reno's got to possibly go back to the drawing board here. Reno's got a ton of characters. He's got some other positions he likes to play in. Uh, I can't imagine if we go down this time, there's a chance we could see an order switch, you know? Maybe putting Hyder on point. Even if he has less resources, he still has those big normals to deal and contend with uh, what Duelon is trying to do. Yeah, or even Orochi Yashiro, right? Orochi Yashiro is always a really solid point character because he gives you access to just having to spend one bar for big damage in Kratos. Ooh, big blocks there from Reno. He does get a little whiff punish. Trade, then the other one. Cool. It's not gonna work out. Forever, if you're cool. For sure. Did you see that containment right there? You gotta deal with the little slow ghost homie coming at you, and it got the jump scene right behind him. A little ghost kamikaze, man. Yeah, rolling right out there. Yashiro's jump, bringing a hammer. You don't want to get clipped by that. Especially not right now when you're doing a great job of just out of space and out poking him. And throwing the, kind of throwing the dash punch. That is great awareness there from Kula. Crimson Hawk coming through with $10 tip. Master Lokov sends his regards. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's got his own Alfred. That's OD. Shout out. So, thank you so much for contributing to the Masterino pod bonus. That's the kind of thing he says before he shows up and puts one in the back. Cool as that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for the $10. Appreciate you. I know this is like Gotham City out here, bro. This is part of the mafia. Shout out to Lokov. You made an impressive playing for him, getting third place. So we'll see him next time. But now it's all about Kula and Reno. Kula's dual line for being immaculate. His uh, style is impetulant. He's impregnable. All the words that Mike Tyson said in an interview that I will not repeat. <laughs> uh oh, things are getting real dicey now for Reno. Oh. Into the mix. Oh, doesn't actually go for a mix-up. Just opted to just use that to put Reno back into the corner. Probably the mix-up was no mix-up. Expecting some kind of a reversal, right? Come on! Yo, no one can be this cracked, bro. He was at the right space in the blow off the uh, fireball with the hop CD. And then again, sniffing that Reno would go for EX cross slash. Backstashes in the right time. Yeah, Kula is uh, he's definitely, he's, he's him. He is him today. Him of him, if you will. Oh, okay. yeah, finally, Duel Long is going down. Orochi Ashiro is getting full health back. But man, getting through Ryo and Benny Maru, that's another story altogether. All orders. Characters that are on paper better than Duelon, right? In the hierarchy, in the higher slots on the tier list. Maybe not for long, though. Who knows? Too close, man. You're too close, man. Love how Reno has, like, ten different setups out of that big grab super. 
he's got so many different ways he can jump in and make it ambiguous. There's the overhead. Go to scale quite a bit, but still massive damage here. Right into the heavenly blaze punch. Bro, oh, and the smoke that follows it too. Crazy. I love that his super is just a big punch. In previous games, and oh, it's gonna kill him. I was gonna say in previous games before it was like a level three, it was a regular super, and the uh, EX version of it was stuck. It used to be kind of, yeah, yeah kind of really dangerous back in those days. All right, we're seeing Benny Marl for the first time in his grand final set. He knows, yeah, Kula doesn't need to do much. Yeah, don't overextend. Exactly. Just play a reactive play style. Yeah, he has to make the commitment to go in, but you know. Eating a chip damage and down 2-0. What will Reno do? Will he go to the drawing board job? Or does he switch out? I think, I think you might do it with an order change at least. I think putting a Rochi Yashiro on point over regular Yashiro would be the better play here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to order select, so that you might end up being the play. I mean, double Yash, Hydern on anchor, I could see that. Yeah, I think uh, I think we do Hydern versus Duolong. I think that's what happens. Oh, Yash point, Yashiro middle. Hydern point! Yep. I was thinking it, I was thinking, yeah. Right. I guess it, the, he doesn't have the meter, right? But he does have, he still has those normals. And he still has a slow fireball to help him out. So while he can't turn every knockdown into a 50-50, uh, he at least still has those big buttons to disrupt whatever Kula is trying to do. Of course, we got to apply that, right? Pen to paper is one thing, but applying it properly. We're going to need to. This is literally the last stand for Reno. Bro, Kula might close this out without dropping a single game this tournament. Cool. That would be uh, nasty work, too. Amongst these giant players, these guys are insanely strong in this bracket. <laughs> Bro, hey, the swap to Hydran might exactly be, or putting Hydran on point, I should say, might exactly be the pickup that Reno needs, the matchup that Reno needs to finally put this duel on down for good. <laughs> that he needs to mow and learn to deal with it. So, like, Rio's coming in just picking up the, the, the scraps, right? It's really duel on the setting the pace. Need. Need. Trades are coming out in Reno's favor. Goes for a full jump on that one. Oh no, putting yourself into the corner. Oh! He went to the corner too. I do agree with that. The lockdown now. This kick might be working out here for, for Reno. The best he's been looking against Duel on so far. <laughs> I like it. Incredible patience there from Kulu to not jump. He will play as well as they strip hops, baby, and we're eight seconds in getting gripped up. It looks like the character switch is playing dividends here. Reno finally taking the point war. Like, even if Hydern does just get deleted right here, that's fine because you've taken down Duolong, who's been such a problem character, and he's been taking down one, one and a half to two of the characters in every single round. And we're tied up. Yes, we are. Oh, they was putting out bangers in KOF 1996. Shout out to the SK sound team. He's doing all that on the uh, the Neo Geo sound team. You gotta give him props. The restrictions breed creativity, but there are no restrictions here for Kula sitting on four bars. Hold your guard gauge. Watch it. Reno's well aware. At some point, we might start spinning resources just to get out the corner, but that's what Kula's cool looking for. Look at the spacing. He's making sure that he's in your face and multiple out at the same time. Yeah, we spin it. Dead. Tournament point, Rome. It's all up to Orochi Yashiro. He's got a full deck of cards, a full stick of butter, but can he cook? Reach for the top. So many, you know, draw fours, right? If this was Uno, he'd have all the cards in his favor, but you don't want to get hit with a draw four of your own, so we'll see. 
Luigi on that straight hit. He definitely nearly nuked Rio in one solid confirm. That 2C could have been it. But Kula is trying to stay outside that 2C range. Here we go. Level 1. Not going to go for anything after except for a mix. -up. Trying to still think about the next game, but the wake up offer is going to work out. Kula is content on taking those trades. Every single one of them. Meter conscious here. I was going to say, yeah, he is. He is being game meter conscious, but I do think you have to drop two bars now. You still have two and a half. Yes, there we go. Yeah, that's two and a half. It's still more than enough, right? You only need two knockdowns here, theoretically. And a mustard. Someone can disrupt the run. This could be it. For Reno, this might be the end of his tournament. Kula can win 3-0, which means he will not drop a game. And Reno can at least extend his life. Put a little blip on that uh on that statistic. Oh nice, there's the punch. Oh, no. My god. DP, it is not your turn. Kula is your TNS KOF champion. And, I mean, we can say dominating fashion, but this is the truest essence of this. Kula did not drop a single game this entire bracket.